Okay, here we go with part three then. This this is it for today. I'm not doing any more. Uh, um, so in this final part um, of today's video, I'll try and answer questions that have been asked about the council tax rise by um, uh, members of the public on Hereford Voice. And the first question that I picked up was, will council tax go up by 4.99% again next year? Well, um, right now, I can't say. Um, I'd like to hope not. I mean, it's difficult to see how it's it's feasible, sustainable to keep asking for such above inflation um, local tax rises when Herefordshire remains um, a low wage economy. And it's one of the reasons that we have um, large programmes of service transformation that are going on um, across the our social care areas and in the very diverse economy in place directorate and why those are so important um, because we need to change the way we uh, deliver services in Herefordshire and enable uh, and also enable our communities to do more for themselves and you know people to do uh, more for one another just as we've seen happening through Covid with all the amazing support groups um, out in our communities, the good neighbour schemes and people going out of their way to look after and to help one another. And many of us have found that it's been um, <clears throat> quite possible to work successfully from home. We've reduced our car use. We're saving petrol. We're doing um, exercise, hopefully, um, making healthier choices and changing how we live our lives um, and being more thoughtful about how we do that. And if we all do more of this and our transformation programmes and the change, um, um, change the need for the way in which social care is, is delivered, uh, we hope to have a better and more healthy um, outcomes for our young people and for our adults, for ourselves. Um, and in which case we shall be able to do the same with less um, and hopefully we can limit the tax rise uh, that's needed in a year's time. But of course, the reason that the council is so reliant on this local taxation is um, that we've had that, um, that core grant funding, um, which central government used to provide from general taxation, cut from 60 million a year to 600,000, you know, 99% cut. And we never know from one year to the next what that funding will uh, will be um, and, you know, how it, um, what funding we're going to get from government on a year by year basis. So it's really, really difficult to plan um, to do things differently. Um, uh, to plan to do uh, things better or to plan for managed decline in in services in, in a way that um, delivers that change in service or that removal of service in, in um, a cost effective manner. Both of our MPs, Jesse Norman and Bill Wiggin, have voted on every occasion presented to them to support cutting funds to local councils. Tax cuts have been made um, uh, for the most well-off in um, in our society, and you know there's comment on it in on the radio at the moment following the uh, the most recent budget. And big business isn't being chased to pay its taxes in the way that little businesses are expected and demanded to. So local councils deliver important local services to local people. Um, Think about what kind of society you want Herefordshire to be when you next stand in uh, the voting booth. Um, and think about who you want to represent you. Um, look at voting records. Um, hopefully they'll, you'll be able to do that more easily for ward councillors, local councillors like me. Um, but there, it's out there for our MPs. Go online and, and take a look at how they vote on things and whether that is the way you would have chosen to vote. Um, so vote wisely for your MPs, for your county councillors, for your parish councillors, because they're the people who, in many instances, are taking decisions on your behalf and make sure that 
you're happy that you've got the right people doing that for you. OK, next question. Why has the council tax gone up by 4.99% when people and businesses are struggling so severely? OK, well, um, I've walked over and around that question in um, the video that was part two, um, but I'll try to give a succinct reply to that question here. Council tax costs for the coming year have gone up by £15 million and the number of households paying that council tax have gone down because more people in Herefordshire are in hardship and qualifying for a 100% discount on their council tax bill. Though in order to generate the amount of funding needed to keep pace with increasing social care costs, we need to increase the council tax by 3% that the government allows to be ring-fenced for these particular services. The core council tax to cover everything else that the council does is being raised by 1.9%. So those two elements together will raise the £3.8 million that we need to go towards that £15 million of extra costs. And the rest of um, the money will be found to offset those cost pressures by delivering the largest savings programme that this council has ever put together. In putting together the budget, we've made extra provision to support the least well off in the county. And we hope that that balance between asking the better off to pay more and helping the least well off to um, be able to get by. Um, we hope that those who are able to pay on average um, the additional £1.51 a week that this council tax rise uh, equates to for a band D property will do so. Um, in order to support the overall balance of services which um, keep Herefordshire ticking along and give Herefordshire residents the mix of services that together we value and need. OK, next question. What's the biggest cost to the council? Well, it's social care. Um, that's the biggest budget that we have. That's the biggest uh, cost and it's the one that's ballooning at the fastest rate. Uh, for adults, we have um, uh, a fast ageing population in, in Herefordshire. We've got more elderly people living here than um, the national average and the regional average. Um, and we have more children in care in Herefordshire than a council of our size, a county of our size and nature should expect. Um, and that should worry us all. Um, and why that is, is something that we're really digging into. Um, but we need to get on top of that. You know, we need to look after and take care of our children and try and keep them safe um, and cared for in loving families. So across adults and children and families directorates, the cost of social care in Herefordshire this coming year is £96 million, which represents 60%, roughly two thirds of the total spend of the council. We'll just pause there to think about that for a minute. Two thirds. OK, the next question, what do the emergency services cost us um, each year? Uh, well, as part of your council tax, um, you, you make payments towards the police and to the fire authority and to your local parish council, as well as paying council tax that pays for county council services. So um, the West Mercia Police and Crime Commissioner is seeking a, a precept of £16,418,240 from across Herefordshire towards the cost of policing in 2021 and that equates to a contribution of £240.19 pence for a bandy property which is an increase of 6.66% over um, the figure for 2020, 666, saying nothing. Hereford and Worcester Fire Authority, um, Fire and Rescue Authority and the rescue is really important especially for us with all the flooding that goes on um, is seeking a precept of £5,993,072 from Herefordshire 
uh, towards the cost of delivering that service in 2021. And so that equates to a contribution from um, each uh, Bandy equivalent property of £87.68 pence for the year. And that's an increase of 1.97% um, over 2020. And the final question that's related to uh, council tax is what contribution to the emergency services does Herefordshire Council make? Well, Herefordshire Council doesn't make a contribution to the cost of the emergency services. The council is a service deliverer in the same way that the emergency services and parish councils are. And that's why all of these bodies are funded through local taxation in the form of council tax, which is collected by Herefordshire Council on behalf of the emergency services and all parish councils. <clears throat> and the funds collected are passed on to these other bodies by Herefordshire Council. Now parishes, I know, receive their precepts up front in two six monthly payments that are made in April and October. So the County Council pays the parishes in advance of collecting the money from you. Um, I'm not sure about um, what happens with the police and the fire services in terms of them receiving the money um, but they may well get it in you know two big six monthly um, payments as well um, if you want me to confirm that I'll, I'll uh, drop a note on the Hereford voice and I'll, I'll look into it but you know, whatever that money gets passed on to the police and the uh, and the fire service, and then they they spend it as they as they need to. Okay, right, that's it. You'll be glad to know. Uh, three um, long videos. Well done if you've uh, if you stuck <laughs> stuck it through all three. Um, the uh, council meeting starts at um, ten o'clock this morning. Um, and we'll be setting the council tax and precepts for parishes and the emergency services. Um, and there'll be questions to the leader on the uh, the report. And there's also a notice of motion to be debated. Um, I'll do some more videos over the weekend, picking up on some of the other questions that have been asked on Hereford Voice uh, to do with my portfolio. That's finance and corporate services. And if... Um, you want to ask any questions, you can still post questions up there and uh, I'll try, try and sweep those up uh, over the weekend. And then hopefully that'll be my series of videos over. And, um, you know, you, you'll have heard more than enough from me by then. OK, thanks. Bye bye.